All right, folks, so now we're going to tackle the home page carousel and the flex template. So this is one of those things where we typically use um, library elements or include pages so that it doesn't create such a mess in the design view. Um, in this case, I'll just pop the page open here again. Um, it We decided to put the carousel in here. Um, and have it not as a library page just to cut down on sort of the amount of library assets we had because in some of our templates we're getting up to like 13 or 14 uh, others we had like dozens uh, each page having their own so in this case we're trying something a little different um, so for the carousel in order to edit this uh, so there's things we can do what are the things we can do with the carousel uh, we can add more slides we can change the picture and then of course the content for each slide and the link. So the makeup is we have an image, then we have one, two, three, four, five pieces of content for each slide. So let's just digest that and figure out, first of all, what if we want to add or remove slides? So first we have to find the slide, the carousel slider in the page. To do that, just sort of click on any element within the visual view here and flip over to code view. And this is something that is going to be a code view uh, update. It is, it, you don't need to know HTML. You just need to know how to copy and paste. Okay. Now, uh, as I grab that little badge there, um, what I'm going to explain here is a carousel item, this little class that we call carousel item, that is the entire slide. So if we want to add or remove slides, we go down to the very bottom, right? And however you whatever tool you use to find the beginning and ending of a tag here. Um, I'm just going to do the select tag, right? And in Dreamweaver, if you click on the top div, it'll select the bottom one automatically to show you where the top and bottom is. So we're just going to do a select tag and we're going to copy. And then right after this green highlight down here in this example, we'll just give some space and paste. And that is how we add another slide, just like that. So, how do we change the content in the slide? This is one of those things, like I said, it is best to do this in code view, although you do not need to know any HTML, it's just a little bit of a different approach. So the first thing in each slide is you see this, wherever you see this site themed image background, that's the image you see on the left hand side over here. Now the size of these images is actually 1920 by 1080. Any full HD resolution image will work. So anything that has a ratio of 16 by nine uh, would work very well. Um, but this will scale, I mean, it'll, 1920 by 1080 is the default size we go because it's a full HD size. But if you went with 1600 by 900, that would be perfect. And anything less than that, like say 800 by 450 would work just as well in that range. So sizes you can use here would be 1920 by 1080 or 1600 by 900 or 800 by 450 any of those three sizes would work out well for this particular image right here and then the replacement of the image put it into whatever folder you want but right here is where we load the image from the site the themed images and the backgrounds and we're just using these placeholder images right here. They're all 1920 by 1080, but you can change your background image right here. And then it's just a matter of reading through the information. You can sort of see that's the update, that's the carousel heading, and anything you see in the black text right here that I'm highlighting, that is the content for the slide. Okay. And of course, that's the web page you would link it to right there, that little pound sign. And really, that's it. Just change the picture the link to the picture right there and I'll just type out the sizes right here up ahead here so it's 1920 by 1080 or 1600 by 900 or 800 by 450 any of those sizes will work just fine for your images um, and like I said that's it you then you scroll down to the next pick one you look for where it says um, this source themed image background start by changing your picture if you need to change it and then you just change the pieces here and of course when I do these things because I'm work we're doing this in code and you can't see it in the page keep a copy of your page open and then you just have to when you when you make your changes 
right and you save your changes you save your index page you just come back to the live site hit refresh in your browser and look for the updates okay